What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Drop a like down below, comment anything in the comments section, to enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Speaking of which, I will be choosing the winner of the $100 giveaway for the first week of NBA videos after I am done with this video. So, Scroll down, check in the comment section for you and see if your name is down in the comment section. I'm going to pin it in the comment section when I'm done posting it. Um, if you scroll down and you don't see it, just check back in a little bit. It'll be there. All right. I will be choosing that after I get done with the video because I forgot, honestly, to do it before I started this video just now. As I was saying, what's going on YouTube? I realized I didn't pick a winner. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, the beginning of the year, as I said earlier on, you know, the first couple games of the season were, were rough. And now we are now going for four in a row tonight greenlightdfs.com let's get it uh let's go ahead and keep this streak going man we're going for four in a row tonight uh we also have the monday night showdown to do we smashed week seven started out a little slow there were a lot of blowouts this week but we ended up being able to come back cooper cup had another amazing week and it brought us up to cash for week seven so that was awesome um, and let's go ahead and smash this Monday night showdown as well. I'm going to have a Monday night showdown, uh, core video for NFL in just a minute after I'm done with this as well. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, let's get into this NBA high five and let's keep this streak going. <clears throat> Starting off at point guard, I'm going to go James Harden at nine, five. James Harden is nine, five, which is a drop from the nine, eight. He was last game. Now he gets to go against Washington who gave up over 55 to Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon is a solid player, don't get me wrong, but he's not James Harden, all right? James Harden, I know, has has not performed what we're up to the standards that we're used to expecting so far this year, mainly because that's been Kevin Durant just going berserk. Um, Kevin Durant has been absolutely destroying this season. He has looked a fantastic, um, and that has taken away from Harden a little bit, but Honestly, this is a great spot here for James Harden, and I'm willing to get on him. I'm hoping maybe people will stop paying for him. But honestly, I have him projected like easily 6x here, and I really like James Harden here against Washington. It's going to be a fast-paced. This Washington squad, once again, as they normally tend to be, is just a young squad who plays very fast. So <clears throat> it's a fantastic spot for James Harden. So lock in James Harden at the guard spot. At shooting guard, C.J. McCollum is balling. My boy Urkel is out here doing big things. 57 first game, 43 the second game, and that was not against a slouch defense in Phoenix. He dropped 43 DraftKings points against Phoenix. All right, in a blowout win. So imagine the game staying close. He probably drops another over 50 like he did against Sacramento. This dude is locked in. On top of that, Norman Powell, who played the first couple games, will not be playing in this game. That's another bump to C.J. McCollum. I really, really like him here. This is a Clipper team that gave up almost 36 to Melton. So C.J. McCollum's in a spot for 45-plus here. I really like him. I think he is a sm in a smash spot here, and I'm hoping his ownership stays low. I'm hoping people kind of, you know fly over the fact that Norman Powell is out and don't think too much into it. And, and I'm hoping we get lower ownership out of C.J. McCollum today. Um, at small forward, I'm going to go Chris Middleton, mainly because Chris Middleton hasn't really done what we're used to seeing either, especially with Drew Holiday off the floor. Drew Holiday is doubtful to play today, at least as at the time of me recording this, he is doubtful. Um, with that being said, Chris Middleton gets a bump with Drew Holiday off the floor. Now, Chris Middleton, 37, 21, and 37 so far. Um, 37 is a number that we will take. It gives us that 5x floor for cash. We'll take that. But he is due for one of those big games, man. He's due for one of those 45 or more games, and I think it's coming right here against the Pacers this game. Um, I really like Chris Middleton. I think he's going to break out sooner than later. And with Drew Holiday still out, I will be taking some Chris Middleton. I really like him, and I like his price at 7-2. Because like I said, we want the 5x as a floor for cash. That's at least bare minimum is what we want. If a guy gets 3x, we can pretty much call our hopes goodbye, okay? But here's the thing. Chris Middleton, 5x, is in a good spot here. I, I'm, I'm expecting near 40, so Chris Middleton is in a great spot, all right? Now, I love the guards on this slate, man. We have a plethora of guards on this slate. I'm going to go to Duarte for the Pacers to run back Chris Middleton. Duarte, the rookie Duarte has been amazing. 39, 30, 29. He has been absolutely solid. He's hit over 5x this price tag at 5.4 so far this entire time. I mean, he was th he's been like under 4K twice 
so far this year. He is just priced too low. Yes, they're moving his price up, but still he's at a price where 6x is easily obtainable. Um, if Drew Holiday was active, it'd be a much harder matchup. All right, but plain and simple, it's a solid matchup. I like Chris Duarte. I think he's still solid value. Um, obviously, as the day goes on, if more value opens up, then maybe I'll switch off of it because his price did go up. But at the end of the day, I feel pretty confident that Duarte can get you that 35 or so um, that you're looking for here. My uh, Milwaukee is a solid defense, but he still dropped 30 against Miami, and Miami's a solid defense as well. Um, so this is a solid spot for Duarte. I think he can he can definitely hit 5x and he can flirt with 6x for sure. Um, last but not least, another guard, and that's Devontae Graham's price is too cheap. Um, if you want to get off of Duarte, I would do it for Graham um, because I really like this spot for Devontae Graham here. All right, 31, 39, and 20 the last three games. He did have a bad game against Minnesota this last game, but I'm calling that just an outlier. It is what it is. Devontae Graham, more times than not, is going to ball out against D'Angelo Russell's defense. Plain and simple. D'Angelo Russell is one of the worst individual defenders in all of the NBA. Okay? So add on the fact that he's going against Devontae Graham, who's a baller. Devontae Graham has the potential to really, really, really ball out. And I get he only dropped 20 against Minnesota. Um, I'm just calling it a bad one. He only made two shots out of 14 shots attempted. So he just had an off shooting day. Um, I'm expecting that to come back together here. And I really, really like this spot for him. Okay, so far this season in the first game, he attempted nine shots, made six. In the second game, he attempted 14, made seven. And then this last game where he busted against Minnesota, he attempted 14 and only made two. I'm expecting a lot better here. All right, so expect Devontae Graham to have a solid game here. And at 5-4, that's just too cheap for a guy who is a solid, solid player. And he's going to get you 30-plus minutes. And he's got that 31 in him like he did against Philly, that 39 in him like he did against Chicago. He's got big upside. And against D'Angelo Russell's defense, I'll take that. So Devontae Graham's in a solid spot as well. And that's it. We got James Harden, C.J. McCollum, Chris Middleton, Duarte and Devontae Graham out of all of these guys Duarte would be the guy I would play with the most um like I said gut really likes Devontae Graham tonight in a bounce back spot against Minnesota um CJ McCollum no Norman Powell and he's already been balling at 7-5 Chris Middleton no Drew I'm expecting him to come back um I do have a feeling that once again Giannis is going to be forced into lineups um I don't know. I mean, as time goes on, it depends what kind of value we have. As of right now, all of the value we have under 4K is force, is a force. Like, yes, you've got guys like Claxton who's starting, but he's not doing shit with that. But he is starting, so he's viable value, I guess. Um, you've got, like, some 3K guys, but they're all, like, forces, and they don't feel great. Um, so if you, unless you get better value, I think balancing is probably the way to go. Cause you've got a lot of guys in that 5k to 7k range that are really, really good that can drop those fifties. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Drop a like down below, comment, anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway. And remember to check the comment section to see if you're the winner of the hundred dollar giveaway for our first week of videos. Thank you guys for joining me and I'm out. Peace.